The movie starts by showing the culture of the online world where everybody is completely drawn to their phones. In the midst of all this, we see a young man, Lee, who is using an online shopping site named Target. This site is a platform where secondhand goods are traded. He texts his address to a female seller even though he doesn't personally know her. It turns out that the man is planning to sell his old laptop to that respective seller. The scene then moves to our protagonist, So Hyun, who is the office manager at a business firm. She is scolding the laborers as they've messed up with their work. Because of this, Hyun also gets reprimanded by her boss, who asks her to do the labor work. Here we learn that the boss has some feelings for our heroine. During lunch hour, Hyun talks about her broken washing machine with her colleague, Dal Ju. Since she's currently struggling with finance, Dal Ju recommends the Target site. Through the online platform, Hyun can buy a second-hand washing machine at a low price. In the meantime, Lee, the young man whom we saw at the beginning of the movie, gets a message from that female seller he's been talking to. She informs him that her brother will be picking up the laptop. Moments later, a mysterious man appears in front of Lee's door. He then stabs the poor guy multiple times in the stomach, killing him. It turns out that this stranger is a serial killer who selects his victims using the Target website. Following this, the killer uploads the belongings of the dead man on the Target website so that he can earn money from those belongings. It's further revealed that he extorts money from his victims, initially posing as a buyer and then eventually killing them. Our heroine soon falls prey to this demonic act. She uses the Target website and sees a second-hand washing machine. She then messages its owner and decides to buy the machine. However, when the machine is installed at her house, it turns out to be junk. Furious, she contacts the owner, but he does not pick up the phone. As a result, Hyun goes to file a complaint against that owner, assuming that he's a scammer. At the police station, Detective Na and Detective Ju consider the case as minor, but they promise Hyun that they will definitely catch this scammer. Upon returning home, she thoroughly investigates the profile of the owner of the washing machine. In the profile, we see the old laptop belonging to Lee, who was murdered earlier. This means that the man who sold the washing machine to Lee is the serial killer. Unaware of the owner's identity, Hyun starts telling people in the comments not to send money to this man because he is a scammer. She also tells them that she has filed a report against him. Meanwhile, the serial killer becomes aware of Hyun's deeds. It turns out that he's equipped with a complete hacking system, due to which he can retrieve every online detail of Hyun. The next day at the office, Hyun notices that her boss's tone of conversation is exactly like that of a scammer. This makes her assume that he is the culprit. Later that day, she starts getting several scam calls. Her phone starts ringing continuously, and she also gets many messages from unknown people. This is happening because the serial killer has stolen Hyun's details and posted them on different websites to buy unnecessary products. To make things worse, that night, several delivery people arrive at her door. Hyun is convinced that the scammer now knows her address. The next day, when she heads out for the office, she leaves a note on the door mentioning that no delivery person should come to her place, otherwise the police will catch them. Later, Hyun, who believes that the scammer is crossing his line, visits the police station and that they must look into the case as soon as possible. In response, the detectives assure her that they are working on the investigation. That night, Hyun goes out with Dal Ju and they get a little tipsy. As she arrives at her house, we see that the serial killer is already keeping an eye on her from afar. The next day, Hyun is visited by a mechanic who has come to check the water sprinklers. This is very strange because her water sprinklers had never broken down. However, she doesn't pay much attention to this and heads out for work. Later that afternoon, she gets a weird text from her brother, who is suddenly demanding some money from her. Hyun then attempts to call him, but his phone seems to be switched off. This means that the serial killer was posing as her brother and asking for money from Hyun. That night, she hears a noise at the door, and when she goes to check, the electric lock opens automatically. A man then suddenly appears in front of her door and asks whether she is the woman he paid money to be intimate with. Hyun quickly realizes that the scammer has somehow hacked her electric lock and is now sending random men to her house to be intimate. 
Panicked, she calls the detectives, due to which the aloof man runs away in fear. Moments later, Hyun gets a message from an unknown number, which reads, I am coming to meet you within five minutes. Horrified, she loses her senses and sets a timer for five minutes. As soon as the timer ends, the door opens automatically again and another man arrives in front of her apartment. But before anything bad can happen, Detective Ju arrives just in time to arrest that man. The next day, however, it's revealed that the man had also just come over to get intimate with Hyun. He was given the address by some unknown guy. Later that night, the serial killer threatens Hyun, telling her that her death is nearing. He's now bored of playing games with her. Terrified, Hyun immediately informs the cops about it. After a thorough investigation, the detectives finally manage to locate the scammer's den. There are no belongings except for a deep freezer in the corner. When the detectives open it, they are left in utter shock. They discover the dead body of Lee, which means that this is actually his house. Now it finally dawns upon everyone that this is a serious case and the suspect is a serial killer. In the meantime, it's revealed that the person who had come to fix the water sprinklers at Hyun's place was actually the killer. He had fitted a camera inside the sprinkler to keep an eye on her. At night, Hyun feels that someone has entered her apartment, so she checks it thoroughly. However, there is no one at her place but herself. The following day, the serial killer follows Hyun to her home. When her boss comes over to visit her, she refuses to let him in because she believes he might be the scammer. Despite this, the boss, who seems to be drunk, tries to forcefully enter the apartment. Scared, Hyun closes the door, injuring his hand in the process. Later, she finds her things messed up in the bathroom. It's as if someone has just taken a bath. She also finds food scattered in the kitchen, indicating that someone had just cooked here. Suddenly, the computer turns on by itself, and on the screen, it says, Today you came home early. Seeing this, Hyun is petrified, so she immediately calls the detectives. When they arrive and investigate the apartment, they do not find a single fingerprint. This indicates that the serial killer is adept at his work. The harassment continues as the killer calls Hyun the next day and informs her that he's aware of her bank details. Moments later, he withdraws all the money from her bank account, prompting our depressed heroine to go crazy. Meanwhile, the detectives begin taking the case seriously. One day, Detective Ju is waiting outside Hyun's house to try and catch the culprit. Suddenly, the killer breaks the detective's car window and manages to make him unconscious. He then takes out a knife and is about to kill Detective Ju. Thankfully, he's unable to do so when he hears some noise nearby. The killer then moves forward to Hyun's house, prepared to kill her tonight. At the same time, Hyun's boss arrives at the place to apologize for his misdeeds. When he sees the killer, who is dressed in ordinary clothes, he thinks that Hyun is having an affair with this man. The boss gets quite angry and starts badmouthing him. A scuffle soon begins, where the killer brutally stabs the boss and kills him. By the time Hyun returns to the apartment, the killer has already hidden the dead body and entered inside. Oblivious, Hyun rests on the sofa, and this is when she notices something. Her eyes fall on the water sprinkler when she sees camera lights flickering inside. She then starts checking all the sprinklers and believes that the killer might have fitted cameras all over the apartment. Just when she's scanning the sprinklers, she makes a horrifying discovery. Her heart trembles at the dead body of her boss, which the killer had hidden in a corner. Just then, the door behind her opens, and now the serial killer is standing right behind her. He immediately attacks Hyun, rendering her unconscious. At the same time, Detective Ju regains consciousness and Detective Na also arrives at the scene. The two then follow the serial killer's car where Hyun is kept hostage. They pass through the narrow streets, but suddenly Detective Na's car gets hit by a truck. As a result, he gets critically injured. It also causes the serial killer's car to overturn. Despite getting injured in the process, the killer manages to escape from the scene. Following the tragic accident, Hyun and Detective Na are rushed to the hospital. Although our heroine recovers after a few days, 
Detective Na sadly succumbs to his injuries. When Detective Ju informs her about his partner's unfortunate death, Hyun becomes depressed because many people have died because of her. Having been discharged from the hospital, she comes up with an idea to catch the serial killer once and for all. She rejoins Detective Ju and makes a plan by which the serial killer will be exposed. Both of them log into the Target website, create a profile of a fake girl, and trick the serial killer by uploading the photo. The killer soon approaches this fake profile and asks to meet up for a product delivery. Hyun disguises herself and goes out to meet him. However, he senses something unusual, and Hyun also guesses that perhaps the killer has found out about their plan. Therefore, she excuses herself to the toilet and immediately calls Detective Ju. Unfortunately, the killer attacks her from behind, renders her unconscious, and takes her with him. He then arrives at his office building and waits for the detective to show up. After some time, when Hyun regains consciousness, she manages to lock herself on the balcony. She then calls Detective Ju and informs him about her condition. Suddenly, the killer reaches for her by breaking the window with an axe. Just when he's about to kill Hyun, Detective Ju arrives at the scene and starts fighting with the killer. In the ensuing fight, both stab each other with knives while wrestling for their lives. At the same time, Hyun manages to find an automatic nail hammer and drives a nail into the killer. Despite this, the bad guy still doesn't die. Instead, he begins attacking Hyun. After a tough tussle between the two, the killer nearly stabs her to death. But thankfully, Detective Ju attacks him from behind and takes him out of the balcony, falling straight onto the car below. Despite this huge blow, the two continue to wrestle until Hyun holds back the killer. This gives enough time for Detective Ju to strangulate the killer and finally kill him. This murder story is finally solved, and after a few days, Hyun is back to her normal routine. But the experience has left her with a profound realization of the inherent dangers of the online world.